Yo, what is up, VC Gamers? I'm going to be talking about Kodoroki again and where I think he places currently in the uh, tech roster. I already said he's the best, but this is, we're going to go in more of a deep dive and where he is overall, like, long games, PvP, short games, all that. So, PvP, he's just flat out the best tech character. He's probably one of the best PvP characters right away. I'll just get that out of the, right, out, out of the way right now. PvP, he's a monster. All right, so let's go into PvE content. Long, short, etc., etc. All right, so PvE content's a little bit more tricky because it depends how you build them and there's a build that you should go on him which i'll cover in a later video when i get the proper resources to build him that way right so in long events this is floor 24 of the agency assessment there's a lot of people who are saying that endeavor would probably be better here well i don't think that's completely true if you build a total for the long game mine's just built for the short burst uh game where he's got the bottom right path and the left path if you build him on the upper right path, he will scale up really good in the uh, long events. So don't worry about that. He's really good. So is he better in Endeavors? Like probably the main question that a lot of people are trying to figure out. Is he in the better? It, it, it comes down to multiple different things, right? Here, I'll just break it down in a simple way for you. At base S rank, Todoroki is better than Endeavor. At SS rank... Endeavor slightly takes the lead on Todoroki. At triple S, they even now and they become equal. SS plus, or SS plus, same story, they're equal. So honestly, you can't really say that a Todoroki or Endeavor is better than each other when they even now at the end anyway, right? But as a free-to-play player and someone that can't get multiple copies, then yes, Todoroki is better for you. For multiple reasons outside of just damage. He's easier to play. He's a lot easier to understand. You don't have to risk your life by playing like on the edge and he has a lot of simple mechanics that you can turn to your favor to help out the team burst people down now when it comes to super co-op uh he's also like endeavor him or just you're using them for different reasons endeavor is more of a crowd controller tank todoroki is more of a crowd controller damage dealer obviously endeavor does damage too and todoroki is more squishy but if you're comparing their damage todoroki will be more damage overall in the super uh co-op right so that's just that so now long events the reason why i like todoroki so much more than endeavors because once again you don't have to worry about your health you don't have to worry about any of your health or your meter or any of that it just it's kind of natural you kind of fill it up for endeavor his his pace is a lot more slower and his build up takes a lot longer but the execution of doing like a, a, a person that can play endeavor to his fullest and actually play endeavor like he needs to be played will do really, really good in all the events, right? But Todoroki, you don't have to worry about that. Todoroki just performs good. There's no special, like, reason for him to perform bad, right? You build up his meters, you pop his Q. Pop his passive, you build up your meter, you pop his Q, right? If you build up one of his other, like, either you build up his heat or his gold gauge first for whatever reason, you pop his W, you pop his E, same story. Just consistent burst. Now, when it comes to like uh the floor 24 like oh endeavor will perform here better thing that's not true it depends on day depends on who's up if dodoroki has his buffs he'll be amazing even without his buffs he'll be fine it's the same for endeavor you're running endeavor on floor 24 it's probably because he's got his buffs up right now when it comes to how much uh riskier you're gonna be playing uh each character i do think endeavor is more of a risk on floor 24 of the agency assessment because if you die you either have to pay the coins or you hope you don't die again, right? Or whatever. Like you don't want to you don't want to be using your coins and hurting your team. But Todoroki, you don't have to worry about his HP. He's got so much iframes, so much invincibility, so many those things things that mm, just go well to skin, right? He's not he's not gonna die. Uh you're not gonna die, Todoroki. You're not. He's got so many iframes in his kit that you're not gonna die. His Q makes him invincible. Like he he's solid. There are times where you're exposed, but once again. You don't have to use those abilities. You don't have to charge up your fire attack if you're in a bad spot. You just wait till you're in a better spot and then charge up and hit your, you know, you know, hit your Q or your E or whatever, right? Where Endeavor, you're always at that risk of dying because you're always at that low HP. You're always trying to burn down the enemy fast while you're staying below 50%. And uh, at SS, this is more relevant because you're doing more damage. Where at S, it doesn't matter. You're just not doing the damage you need to do and you're just risking your life for no reason. S Endeavor is good, but he's not like he's not broken where Todoroki at S is broken and at SS he's still like you know he's broken 
now as you see the uh as you see like i'm not like i'm at risk here and yet i'm taking like hardly any damage right I, I i like yeah i got hit there a few times hard but like it's fine i'm up in his face i'm poking the bee's nest as you may say and i'm just in his face like i don't care if i'm at risk because i have ways to i frame myself and make myself invincible right his alt hits really hard too i think uh i think if you're gonna say uh who's got the best alt at s this flat s Todoroki's in the discussion for that. His alt at S is disgusting. Especially if you use it with his passive 200%. It's crazy. So, yeah, I think if for Endeavor versus Todoroki, who's better? I, I, I'm i going to say Todoroki's more player-friendly. And uh, if you're really good at Endeavor, then don't worry about Todoroki. He's, you know, he's just as good. If not, can be arguably better at times. But Endeavor's still amazing. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be it, guys. Uh this video if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe if you're new and uh don't worry about who's better at the end of the day it's based off who you're more comfortable playing my name is josh i'm signing off